you must have seen retrogression and combustion written in the ephemeris and I like to explain the meaning of this retrogression and combustion and also how it takes place in the universe. As we know, we, key, we can keep the telescope only on earth, nowhere else. We cannot keep it on sun. So there is a relative motion between the other planets and our planet earth. So sometimes we see that the planets are moving at faster speed, sometimes moving at slower speed and sometimes they are even moving backwards means retrogression. So I like to explain here, there are two types of planets, one is the inferior planets or an, another is the superior planets. There is nothing inferior means they are less important or, or, or like that. Inferior means they are the internal planets between Sun and Earth, Mercury and Venus and exterior planets are Mars, Jupiter, Saturn etc. So how retrogressions take place in the exterior planets is like Suppose this is the Sun, this is the Earth and this is the Jupiter position at a given moment and if I cast it on the chart, it would be like this, the Sun is here and Jupiter J1 will be here, right? So Jupiter as we see from the telescope from here looks to be in the Cancer, this is the position number 1 of the Jupiter. And after some time, J1 goes becomes J2, the Jupiter moves forward and even the Earth also moves forward. But Earth moves at a faster speed as you know, right? So because the telescope is here and now we are, when we see from here, we find that Jupiter has actually receded back. But actually it does not happen, but it looks like that. Because from Cancer it has gone in Gemini. That means if Sun and Jupiter on the either side of the Earth, 180 degrees, which I have shown here on the either side of the Earth, then planet like Jupiter will always be retrograde. And it will also be retrograde in the sixth house or the sixth sign or the eighth sign from Sun and then it will become a bit very slow and stationary here then it will move forward. So these are the places when the planets, the exterior planets remain retrograde. Here, 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 here and here. So this is the diagrammatic representation like this. Now I'll move forward. That suppose now Earth is here, remains here and from E1 I take it as E3 and this becomes E4 but Jupiter is not here, Jupiter is suppose here. So let this be J3 position of Jupiter and after some time this go to J4. Now when I am seeing, seeing from the Earth, Jupiter is here. It's a zero degree, right? So if this is Cancer, let us assume this to be Capricorn. And this is J4. Now after some time, Earth position goes from here to here. And when I see from the telescope, I find that Jupiter has moved faster. Like this. Now Earth is also moving in the same direction and Jupiter is also moving in the same direction. Previously it was moving in the same direction but it was moving slower so it was looking that it is moving backwards. Now when Jupiter is here it will move faster. Hindi we say Ati Chari or moving fast. So the planets, exterior planets near to the sun are called the, are moving fast. And when Jupiter is very near, say Sun and Jupiter remains around 12 degrees, nearly all the planets differs 1 or degree or 2 degrees, together then Jupiter cannot be seen. So this is called the combustion and when you start seeing then it is called the rising of that planet. Combustion doesn't mean that it has actually uh, combust or uh, whatever it means uh, has burnt away or something like that. But it actually is not seen because of the brilliance of the sun. So this is how we explain the exterior planets combustion and retrogression. Now I will go and 
for the uh, uh, for you to explain the retrogression and combustion of the inferior or the interior planets mercury and venus